carving thing. So to make a painting out of it, you need to create a focal area. You need to have directional lines and you need to have rest. Okay, so here's my focal area. Here's my directional lines coming through the painting and this, most of this part is just rest. I can get that fairly adequately just with my black and white. This one here, can you see the same thing? My basic, this is in paint, and my basic shapes are all established. And in this one I've gone a step further with a pattern of dark through it. And all I have to do is put in a skin tone and a little bit of colour thrown in the background and I have a painting because I have a structure. I have rest, I have movement and this will become my focus. Does that make sense? Mm. So looking at what we were seeing yesterday when we went through Rockamador and what, what particularly interested me was the the courtyard area in the church mm -hmm. where you had an opportunity to look down from several different angles. And what that did as a painting tool is give you some opportunities for some fabulous paintings. So where do you start? I liked this one because there's a lovely movement, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. I have an area of rest. I have an area of focus. And what I'm doing on here is I started by just sketching the lines and if you were to put this on a piece of paper just like it is, I could almost tell myself <laughs> where my lines are heading, the two basic lines in the painting, right? This one, this one, and then a vertical, okay? And that's basically uh, cheating maybe, but no. whatever's practical no, gets it's you off the ground tool. and it makes sure that I get that dynamic in the painting, doesn't it? Mm. Bringing this one down and across, this one down and around the corner. Now all I need in this painting is the, a, a suggestion of the steps and if I have, it's not quite horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, it's a change of tone here, yeah? Mm -hmm. and I have steps. I don't have to draw them all in, I just have to indicate. And you'll notice as they go down, I see less of the riser mm -hmm. when it's on a different angle. I can use those lines to create more focus in the painting, can't I? See mm -hmm. how they subtly change and start to head in a different direction. But that's not enough for a painting, is it? So we need to go a step further. And what I've done in this instance, I've started to introduce tone. And I've put tone all along here and along here. So this area has really become my darker tonal area in the painting. This area I'm making darker than it is in the photo mm. because I think it works better mm. moving me around the corner. And I echo that dark into here and over to here. So this whole section is a lovely balance for the figure. Take the figure out. It's not the same. Loses. Not the same, is it? Gives it scale. Give the figure and a few yeah. figures over here and I start to get, because of the changing size relationship, mm. a sense of... Um, the space in the courtyard. Mm. This here is not so huge. I'm not standing up five stories. I'm quite close here. But there's a spatial diff difference here. Okay? Now when mm. I start to paint from that, I know I've got to throw in quite a bit of colour on here to get that change in tone on that basis. And then I can come and add as little or as much detail as is needed. <clears throat> Another one was this fellow. This is, doesn't look anything, does it? As um, on, the, on the photograph, doesn't look anything. 
No. Right? Mm. But it, it actually does. But... If I start to play with tone again, and you see here how I've linked all of this as a sort of darker area. I've let the figure blend in. And I would have a lighter head on him. But he really blends into it all, doesn't he? In this painting, you have to find the figure. Yeah. The, the, it's a much quieter painting than this one, mm. which is boom, yes, he's here. Mm. This one, I'm drawn in here, and then I'm going to discover a story, because he's just sitting there waiting. He's not standing there saying, where did they go? <laughs> no? Here, he's just contemplating, isn't he? Very little information is needed here to tell the story about a changing plane, especially if on this wall here I have more detail on the brickwork and the textures. Mm -hmm. That is going to pull that right forward. Do I need to go <coughs> longer? Am I gaining anything by taking this painting longer? No, no I don't no. think so. No. So when I'm doing my little pencil drawing, if I start and fill the whole page, I've got nowhere to move. Mm. Okay. If I put an approximate window of what I want in the middle of the page, I can then, if I think, well, maybe it looks better if I have more wall here. And actually that probably looks better than this, doesn't mm. it? Mm. You know, but do I need it for the story? Or maybe I need to come over here and have the archway of the church. No, that's going to be a distraction, isn't it? Cut it off here. And so I can actually, on my pad, try the mm. sense of different uh, formats for my painting. Tall and skinny, horizontal, vertical, um, and, and play with that. So there are two options from... A, a virtually enclosed space, really. And I think I did another one. I thought, I, oh yeah, this one. Which was the um, walking down the stairs. And to me that told the story. What my photographs here and what I'm choosing here are the elements that talk to me about the space. It was after that. Okay. After that. After that, after, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, apologies. Here we go. Would you paint that? <laughs> not usually, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Probably not, would you? It's not that interesting. Mm. No, but what I love about difficult. it is I love yeah. the, the sweep of the stair, which gets lost here a bit, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. And it's the tone that loses it. So what I'm doing is changing this into a, um, a drawing again, and I'm using a stronger dark here. A strong dark edge here and a stronger dark edge here. So going from the object to the background. Can you see that transition of mm. the dark tone? Mm. I'm playing up the edge here, which is telling me about stairs. Yeah? And maybe, maybe play a little bit of an edge here. I like this line here. It's important, isn't it? to sweep you around. It's almost lost in the photo, but it's important. And I could have a little more tone here. A little bit of tone that gives me the, the height of the stairs here. And these are all things that you probably won't register when you put the paint on. But what it's doing is that's carrying me down. Yeah. Yes? Oh, this is carrying me this. around. And then the figures in and out of the um, darks and the lights. So they're part of it. Um, I liked Kay's here with that lovely shape mm. on her, Cardi. Mm. Uh, that gives a, a really distinctive shape, doesn't it, mm. on the clothing mm. that you can work with. 
And so I've got, I think that's a really interesting composition mm -hmm. out of a, a photograph that is not, is all the same. So what have I done? I've increased some of the tones. I've increased the tonal pattern in here so that I can push my eye back over here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Difficult to make that. Sorry? Difficult to... to I mean, I couldn't do that. If I looked at that, I wouldn't know to darken that. I would keep... I would copy what I see. Okay. So what you do is you copy what you see, and when you do that in a tonal sense, it's not going to work. So what you then do is you come in with your graphite or your pencil, and you say, well, what if... Mm. I darkened, and you can play on this, right? What if I darkened these areas? Is that too much? Is yes. that too much tone? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's too much contrast. Mm -hmm. So maybe I reduce the tone here and just leave the contrast on that one. And can you see how my eye then goes there, but it doesn't go down here? Mm -hmm. And that's a tonal contrast issue, isn't it? Mm. Okay. Here, if I don't have this dark, I don't get pulled, pulled into this little section. Mm -hmm. If I don't have the depth on here, I don't get drawn down the page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not all of a sudden it's there. Mm -hmm. It's it's okay. This is these are my starting shapes. That one, that one. They're the two shapes on the page, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So how do I get from that shape to this one? Mm -hmm. And that's where my tonal drawing helps hugely. Mm -hmm. If I just do it in colour, I get all I get all tied up in the bit of warm here and the bit of cool there, but it isn't actually setting up the tonal balance that will move me from A to B on the page. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? <coughs> Now we've got lots of little opportunities where we're going. You know, here's another lovely one of, of Lynn's, Lynn's drawings here, where you can use the dark of the archway, the middle tone in here. And then we start to get a bit complicated here. So you've got to make choices. Do you want to look here or do you actually want to have a figure down here or something that draws your eye? Because at that tone there, I'm taking away from the story. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you've all got lots of photos of this and I'm sure when we go to Bainac today there will be, especially if we're walking down, there will be sections where we can look through on something or sections where we can use an archway or a doorway or a, a little corner or a pavement and think about how we could actually create some interesting compositions to present <coughs> our, our, our story. Most importantly, is the composition, is what you select going to tell you something about the place? Yes. This is about the isolation and the quietness of the space. This one is about the, the intimacy overlooking, the, the decoration, the style of decoration of the time. This one is about the steepness of that penance mm. stair, whatever it was mm. called. Yeah. 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 The steepness of it is, is really, um, the story is told about that here, isn't it? Yeah. And the figures mm. are important only in terms of a scale of what's going on. The fact that that figure isn't tiny mm. means that this is really steep. Mm. If that figure's tiny, the staircase mm. could be longer. Yeah. yeah, but here mm -hmm. we're moving and it's, you know, mm -hmm. steep, but just a short distance. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've all got lots of material, but it comes mm -hmm. back to that initial question, what do I want to say? Mm -hmm. What is important about this place that I want to capture? And the other thing, just really quickly, uh, I was working on these yesterday, and this is an example of the... Um, so I worked in a brown pen, which was perhaps a mistake, but the splodge is too strong for the drawing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So I have several options. I can just do that on that section and wait. Mm -hmm. 
and just come back and make no impression whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little yeah. bit. It's made a bit. Or oh, wet it again. Yeah. <laughs> wet it again. Gosh, is this going to work? <laughs> and I'm not losing any of the energy, no. interestingly, it's isn't it? Yeah. Mm. But it's no longer dominating the image. And mm. I think I'll probably come back with a bit of black pen just to enhance what's going mm. on there. Mm. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Mm. So grab your gear, especially your um, graphite stuff. It's clear as mud. I found an interesting difficulty with this. That if I want to put a lot of heavy lines on, the paint starts to clog up the pen. Yes, it does. Mm. And you've got to take.